Leo. Namaste, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I am so foolish, girl. I see the God in you. Yes, I'm so happy to be back doing what I love to do the most. Well, one of them. Anyway, um, it might be the most. It's probably the most, yeah. Doing your zodiac sign. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mercury. Okay? We got a dope spread. Stay tuned to the end. The first question we're going to ask is, what does the person on your mind, what is your SP, what is your boo, whoever you're speaking of romantically, what do they want to say to you right now? Um, okay, the first thing they want to say is, <laughs> Uh, stalker alert. I check up on you often. So, yeah. All right. Well, now we know that. Now we know that. Leo, what the what? <laughs> I knew there was a reason. I was like, I'm going to lay down and just let's get some rest tonight and do, do this reading in the morning. Because I knew it was going to be something like this. I'm starting to panic. It's been so long since I've seen or heard your voice. So for some of you, this might be someone that you might not be talking to. And even if you are talking to them on a regular, it could just be like they want to talk to you more, more, more. They're obsessed, obsessed, obsessed is what I'm hearing. Like, whoa. Some of you can be seeing 222. 222 is coming through really strong. I'm seeing that. Mm, yeah, I, I definitely get that. This person could be over texting. If you're texting this person a lot, if you're talking to them, it doesn't bother them at all. I dream about you constantly. I hate that I have to wake up because it's so beautiful in the 5D. Okay, so I am getting the vibe that for some of you, you may not be talking to this person, okay? Um, this could be a legit twin flame, deep soulmate. Maybe you were acquainted with this person. Maybe you were, okay, now for others of you, and I do feel like this, this is probably the majority. Um, if you're not living with this person or they don't get to see you often, this person could travel for work. They're just dreaming about you. They they want to spend more time with... Their, there's something... They're, they're experiencing something spiritual. That's what I'm trying to say. We're going to see what's next with their intentions. But let's just get one more card. Yes. Leo, if you're single as a Pringle, please let me know down in the comments. Mm, but if you're watching this, I know you have someone. I'm going through a lot right now. I need space and time to gather my thoughts. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, it's pretty clear that there's something brewing here. There's something taking place. But this person is needing a little time and space for some of you. Okay. So, there's almost kind of like two different scenarios here. I'm really picking up. So for some of you, it's like they're creating this distance between you because they're experiencing something really deep and spiritual. They're still thinking about you, even if they're creating this. And for some of you, I'm starting to panic. It's been so long. They can't get enough of your energy. And if you're holding back anything from them, if there's anything you're not telling them, they're definitely checking. They're checking up on you. They are checking up on you. Ooh, like big time online through friends any information they can find you'll notice even if like you're hanging out with them they'll be asking you a lot of questions but let's see what are their true in current intentions and then we're gonna tap into how you're feeling how they're feeling. okay mm, what are their true intentions I really want to know Ooh, for some of you, I feel like this person really like you could go from being single to being like in a serious relationship. Oh, 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 
my goodness. I, <sighs> a friend of mine is like, when she's right all the time or something, she goes like, microphone drop. I'm just saying. Yeah. I should say she's more like a big sister. She's um hilarious, okay? That's a microphone drop right there. <laughs> Did I not say that? Please tell me that you're rewinding that right there, okay? You could go from being single to in a relationship. I'm just so excited for whoever this reading is for. You're about to be blessed with the most romantic relationship you've ever experienced in your life freedom they just love how free you are and their intentions are to tie you down you know this could be a jealous person this could be someone who's kind of jealous you know um could be another fire sign we'll get into that it could be a water sign i don't know i just kind of get the vibe that like it's like okay <laughs> Um, I'll bet you didn't know you were going from being single to in a relationship and then married in that order, like so fast. That happens with me with my first husband. Yes. So I'm just saying <laughs> it was quick and it did last for a while. We're still really good friends. All right. Look at that bride. I'm so sorry to tell you my readings do not lie i cannot make this up this is their intentions what now if you're already married and you're already with this person then clearly this person feels like they're clocking where you're going where have you been what, what do you think you're doing right now why didn't you answer my call I'm hearing a lot. I'm also hearing I cannot wait to get into the tarot and see how you're feeling about this person. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot. Listen, I'm just saying, if you're really feeling this reading, let me know. Now, let's go. We got to move forward, okay? We got to move forward to the tarot. Let's just see how you're feeling about this person currently. And then we'll get into how they're feeling about you. So, what are your current feelings thoughts slash feelings and messages yes you really do like your independence and at the same time you want to be wifed up but you want your independence you really enjoy having a luxurious lifestyle. Hopefully, this person can keep up with you. We're going to see. We're going to ask more questions. We're going to find out. You most definitely like your freedom. We got the Nine of Pentacles here. And we have this freedom card. It's really kind of the same thing. Like, yeah, you just kind of feel like, okay, my credit's good. We could do this. Swords and reverse. You might have recently caught this person doing something, or you might feel as though this person could be a little bit insecure, but they're just so creative and fun. Also, you could feel as though there's a new level of trust. Okay. We're all having different experiences at different times. Really strong Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. You want to caught this person actually doing something that they were not supposed to be doing. And this person came clean. And hopefully you're not about to leave somebody because they done fucked up and uh, drop. What is it? Drop the bag? I don't know. Lost the what? Lo they lost a, a lottery ticket. They they don't want to throw away a lottery ticket. They're going to regret throwing that away. We got the Empress energy coming through. We got the Hierophant energy. Somebody over here, you might be talking to some, your mother, or you might be talking to your pastor, your priest about this situation seeking some sort of spiritual advice even watching readings you know just trying to get some clarity because it's like mm, there's something that happened here that was that made you feel uncomfortable okay that just made you feel like this wasn't right and your intuition is telling you that you're right 
and that's not in your head, are you going to be able to forgive and forget, right? Something like that. Mm, it's coming through either way. Wow. Let's get into how they are feeling about you. Like, I, I'm really needing to know that right now. How are they feeling? You know what? I'm being guided to use another deck just to see if there's any mirroring energy that comes up between the two of you, okay? So, Leo, Sun, Venus, and Mercury. Press like if you like this, please. It really helps me when you do that. Let's see. How are they feeling about you? I, I'm hearing I'm sorry by Justin Bieber in my head. Okay, this person feels like you found them out. Okay. They just feel like you have all the twos. Like you, they feel like you always get what you want. And they also feel like, in a way, you pretend to turn a blind eye to things that you see. Okay? And they just think that your communication is hypnotic. Like, you put them in a legit trance, okay? This is a magician energy, Gemini, Aquarius. Gem I don't know why I said Aquarius. So maybe some, some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. But we have Gemini, we also have Virgo, and we have the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups for how they're feeling about you. This person really wants to be in this for the long term. They want a long-term, committed relationship with you, regardless as to whatever, whoever. I hate to say it, but if you're in a relationship or you got something on the sign, <laughs> don't get caught over here. Just don't get caught. I'm just saying, wow, that's, you can't make it up. That's how they feel. Um, I'm hearing irreplaceable. So, from Beyonce. So, this person feels like you're irreplaceable. Pisces energy coming through. Nine of cups. Yes. I'm definitely going to revive if, if you are single and you're just dating this person. We have masculine, feminine energy here. We have nine of pentacles. We have nine of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy coming through this reading. This person wants a co mit mit with you they like how things are but they are thinking long term they might put it on pause from time to time because you know they just kind of like their freedom if you give this person time to think and be out and explore on their own they, they adore you for that they adore you for allowing them to have their independence and yeah so i love where this is going actually i thought it was going to be like a a real dark plot twist but i i guess not not i guess it's a happy day leo <laughs> let's see what are their thoughts when they think about you this would be something that you know they've consciously told you or um you just pick this up intuitively energetically for some of you there could be really strong telepathic energy here i meant what i said so this person is wearing up and down that they did not cheat. They're just wearing up and down that that's just what I'm getting. Um, and they're and I'm not even gonna say that you know if it if it was something going on with them and another person, it probably was very <sighs> meaningless. Okay. Uh, for others of you, I meant what I said, like, I'm not a cheater is what I'm hearing. I don't know, but this person is so undeniably attractive. A lot of people, um, even like if they're not, especially when they are married. Okay, so if some of you are like married, this person is so attractive. It's like, what the heck? Okay, um... Or you were married or whatever you know they're just so attractive so it's like i meant what i said but then you know there's something here that made you feel 
like we didn't need to think that. Um, let's see. Ooh. So they're thinking about gossip. Okay, so they just feel like maybe some things were they don't they know what they said about gossip. Okay, getting a lot of messages with their thoughts, you know. Um, clear audience is kind of my strength, so yeah, they don't want like you talking about your family and their family and like drama with the family. It's like, no, babes, like I don't want my family saying bad things about you. I want things to look a certain way, be a certain way. You are my everything. I'm hearing like, even though you stress me out, you get on my nerves, like this and that. And the third, we might get into it sometimes. I might feel insecure or, you know, I just might care a little bit too much what people think about me, but it doesn't matter because you are my everything. If you're not married to this person, if you're not in a relationship with this person, then just know that that's where this is leading this is leading to some long-term commitment. They just want you to get along with their family. <laughs> and I'm hearing like, is that so hard? Like, oh, ooh, somebody is sassy. <sighs> Please tell them, keep it classy, all right? Um, I wanna first start with you. So yeah, they could be wanting to rekindle something with you, start over with you, rekindle a romance, rekindle, why was I going to say sex? Okay, maybe, you know, turn up the spice because this kind of was in reverse and my clear audience is telling me like, you know, they kind of want to like get it on a little bit more. <laughs> oh, yeah. There is your confirmation right there. Cannot make this up. So, yeah, let's get some advice um, from the Romance Angels. What's at the bottom of the deck? I just dream and wish for everything. Could be dealing with the Pisces. I feel like this person is definitely seeing signs and synchronicities about you. We do have dream showing up here twice. Um... We do have dream showing up here twice. I know it's a lot of words, but yeah, maybe you want to reflect on that. Just zoom in on that, okay? <laughs> they're, they're definitely seeing signs. They're um, lucid dreaming about you, dreaming about you. This, they, they definitely feel like you are some sort of dream come true. And maybe they were just trying too hard for some of you with on uh, certain things. Maybe they just get in their feelings way too much, you know, on certain things. But let's just get some advice from the Romance Angels for you guys to take away. <sighs> Something you need to know about the situation. How you can handle the situation. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So, yes. I'm also hearing your relationship with yourself. Your self-love. If you love yourself and you know that you are healed from your past traumas and everything, then you know that this is a healthy relationship. Always do what's led, but you are being guided to work on this relationship. If you feel that there might be some bumps in the road, you guys could be having some serious um spiritual psych cycles and maybe even some some um i can't even think of the word i, I just I'm, I'm i'm noticing the the hangman maybe making some sacrifices and learning how to compromise in a relationship can be pretty difficult okay um all relationships go through cycles especially romantic relationships so let's see what else do you need to know 
forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in the present moments so you're basically really being guided to if this if anything did happen in the past if there was anything or your, even your past relationships please leave that drama in the past and forgive yourself forgive them you don't have to forget, but you can forgive and you can focus on being more in the present moment. If you feel that this is the type of love or the type of relationship that you want to have in your life at the moment. Okay, especially if you're thinking long term. That's all I have for today, Leo. Don't forget to press like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell if you feel guided to and you want to see more let me know i'll see you soon in your next reading namaste peace and love